I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. This is the video that will scatter the table. Religion and the absence of enduring family businesses in Africa. Apart from Islamic families, Number one, growing up, what I heard most was the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. And an emphasis on the world ending very soon. In fact, Mark Wolu, the a senator at one time, and uh, the founder of Trinity College of Ministerial Arts said that the world will end in his lifetime. He has died more than 25 years ago. The world is still here. So, with that kind of religion, Christianity that was brought to Africans, meanwhile, the people who brought that were planning to go to the moon. They were colonizing new territories. The end of the world is, you will see very lazy Christian. If you want to know a very lazy Christian, he is an end time preacher. End time preacher. Always looking for people to condemn, always looking for sin. Me, I'm preparing for the return of Christ, but I will pay salaries before he comes. I will buy petrol before he comes. I will eat before he comes. End time. And when you see end time preacher, look at him very well. And these end time people will be the ones that will go and beg people money. These end time people are the ones that will wait for a big man to come and donate money during their Thanksgiving. End time. The kingdom of God is at hand. It is to be trans translated as the proximity, availability, accessibility of God. Emmanuel, God with us. It's within reach. The Thessalonican church taught like that. Urgency, urgency. See, they told them, find something to do instead of being busy bodies. Then there is another phenomenon. And that phenomenon in the church is that while you are doing God's work, God will do your work. He's not your house boy. Please change your mind. So behind me now, there are people singing. People praying that they are kabashing. Please. Please, I beg of you. We are too backward in Africa. All the 90% of the examples that Jesus used were economic examples, business examples. And we misinterpreted them. We left the sociology of the Bible, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Imagine uh, uh, Nabal was a foolish man, but he had 3,000 sheep times 3 times 30,000 is about 9 million or 90 million. A foolish man. How much do you have? Those sheep were, they asked the children, those sheep were from his father, forefather Caleb. They asked uh, Jacob and his children, what is your occupation? He said, our people have been shepherds over the years. The ones they crossed the Red Sea with, the ones they crossed the desert with, the ones they refused to eat in the wilderness. There were animals with them in the wilderness. They were thinking of an enduring business. They did not want to slaughter those in the wilderness. That was why they cried for meat and God sent quail and manna. These are the same animals they cross the Red Sea with. I mean, cross the River Jordan with. So, are uh, been shepherds. They had family business. We have this mentality of we brought nothing to this world, we will leave nothing in this world. I mean, we will take nothing away. Yes, we are not taking any, anything away. Let's leave something behind to make it a better place. All the things you are using were left behind by people and you are buying them. 
African Christians must learn to become responsible and productive. It's not the way you do your face like a mortuary attendant that makes you uh, holy. The next thing is that the missionaries they sent to us were not entrepreneurial. They were not. And this concept of full-time ministry, F-U-L-L time ministry, is gradually changing to F-O-O-L time ministry. Paul was a tent maker. He said, I paid for, I paid for whatever I used. He paid his bills. I pay my bills. People donate things to me. Yes, but I pay my bills. I generate my own revenue. I don't wait for offering. I don't wait for tight. I generate my own revenue. And the concept of looking at church as only where we serve God without seeing our businesses as places of service to God and humanity is very wrong. So religion contributed to a large extent, particularly modern religion. In fact, somebody said that the white man brought the Bible, told, our eyes to, told us to close our eyes to pray. As we closed our eyes to pray, they took our land. And Leopold, Emperor Leopold, of uh, is it Brazil, Belgium, that colonized Congo, he said that they should not preach messages. To, he wrote to the missionary, they should not preach messages that will open our eyes. They should preach messages of hope, of love, of heaven, so that we will not concentrate on the earth and know about the minerals and commerce and eventually drive them away from our continent. We must redefine Christianity. We must redefine it. Let me shock you. The Anglican Church, the Church of England, had slaves. They had slaves, if you don't know. We need to redefine Christianity, the way we practice it in Africa, and relate it to our underdevelopment or development. Get angry with me. That's your business. I'm Dr. Charles Apoki. Send a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. Discussion continues is the name of a car. God bless you.